What's up? My name is Julian Williams, and I take Expedite. Some days I walk into the gym, and I don't necessarily feel like working. Take a scoop or two of this, be ready to go. It's the best stuff I've ever had. Expedite. Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here in Los Angeles being joined with Gennady Golovkin who's returning to MSG this June against Steve Rolls and to return to New York. We haven't seen you uh, there in a very long time, I think since uh, the Jacobs fight. For you, what does it mean to go ahead and return to New York and once again be active after uh, a bit of a layoff for you? Очень приятно, очень приятно вернуться в Нью-Йорк. То есть у меня ассоциации однозначно наилучшие с Нью-Йорком связаны. И то отношение, что тот подход людей к боксу именно в Нью-Йорке, то есть они очень сильно отличаются. Uh, it's very nice to come back to New York. Uh, I have all the best memories and associations with New York. And the, the attitude towards and treatment of boxing in New York is very different. I'm just glad it's not cold. <laughs> when you're fighting, because usually it's cold when you fight. Last time, yeah, last time when you fought Jacobs, we had a polar vortex, and this is a, I got food poisoning, and I was sick the whole week, throwing up, vomiting. Yeah, it was it was terrible, but that's just a, a, a tangent there. Um, Steve Rolls, a, a lot of people don't know who he is, but from the tape you've seen, Gennady, what do you make of him as a fighter, and, and do you think he brings any new challenges to you? Знаете, я сам немного знаю о нем. I don't think in the bout. Yeah, I don't know exactly who is this guy. You know, Steve Rolls. I know just he's dangerous guy. Because I understand my situation, similar like his situation right now. Right now he has biggest fight, biggest chance, and you know he he's undefeated. He's from Kronk, from you know Emmanuel Stewart's gym. Respect. He had good experience from champions from big name he had good sparring with these guys i believe this is not easy fight mm, okay have you seen tape of him like do you are you familiar with the style at all uh, no no right now just you know if i go into my sparring i'm start my sparring just i watch this video so is that a worry for a fighter fighting a guy that you don't know a lot about there's not a lot of tape you know, I don't think about his style. I don't think about this, his, who is this guy. Just, I need my style. I need my, you know, options. Gennady, you're getting older. You've fought for a very long time. How has training changed the older you've gotten? Or has it changed at all? I feel good. Just a just little bit. Yeah, still a little bit more smart. More smart, you know. Not a lot, no, just maybe one percent. What's more smart about training now? Like, what are you doing? Just my sparring partner, just more smart, you know, just my tactic, my strategy. When you look at the future, the whole world wants to see that third fight with Canelo. Are you thinking if you win in September, that's the fight that's going to happen because of the situation with you and DAZN, him facing Jacobs, that September is looking like it will happen. You know, so many options we have. I don't know, just... Of course, it's important for everybody, for DAZN, for people, for me, for him, probably. And I hope so. He said that you need to have a belt to fight him again. It caught a lot of people off guard. Did that catch you off guard? He said he's not promoter, you know, he's not partner to the zone, you know, he's a fighter. You know, I remember my situation, like last fight, the same. He, he doesn't have nothing, I have all belts. Why not? You know. So you're saying because you gave him a chance when he didn't have any belts? No, no. Not, not because I give him chance, you know, because, you know, he, this is not correct. If I don't have belt, he doesn't want to fight with me. Because there's not a, I don't think there's been a conclusive ending yet to you and him, like your guys' fight series. It was really close. I personally felt, I'll be honest, that you won uh, the first fight. The second fight is super close, Gennady. Uh, you know, super close. It could have been a draw. It could have been either way. Do you want a definitive conclusion to that? 
Я думаю, что у нас будет третий бой, он будет немножко отличаться, может быть, кардинально отличаться от тех боев, что у нас были, и мы все-таки выявим, то есть будет результат более объективен, более честен. I think we are going to have our third fight, and uh, it will be different, and it will be more definitive result, and it will be more honest. Yeah, we, we want that. We want a, a definitive result. This fight is at 164. Is that um, a testing to see if maybe you can go up to 168? No, just I feel very comfortable 160. This guy, my opponent, he stayed at 168. You know, we're going in the middle. Why not? So no 168, you think, in the future? You, you like staying at middleweight? No, I want to try just with who? Um, that's a good question. Maybe a Callum Smith, a Bevol? Maybe we'll have a, like, you know, like a big list and just, you know, just everybody best work with us, you know, just only this guy. Why? You know, Steve Rolls. His team work a lot. You know, nobody won't fight with me, just only talk. It's still that problem after all this time, huh? It is, yeah. I told you, like, 10 years ago, just I'm start like, nobody won 54, and I'm asking 175, nobody won fight with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's because you have so much power in your your fist, man. That, that's kind of like a, a blessing and a curse, too, you know? Yeah, this is not my fault. Thank, <laughs> yeah, no. Thanks, my parents. <laughs> I know it's Thanks, not your yeah. fault. Um, Canelo said he wanted to fight Sergey Kovalev. That caught me uh, uh, off guard, but uh, I think he was serious about it. What do you think about that? It, and do you, I know you? We just talked about 168, but do you ever see yourself moving past 168 as well? No, yeah, I don't think about for this fight, Kovalev and Canelo just. If you want, why not? I think call if he's ready for this fight. And if he's ready to call if why not? This year, you have this fight. We hope, I got my fingers crossed, September. Do you think two fights this year or you want to be more active? Лучше бы правильно было бы сказать бы, давайте начнем с этого боя. И дальше видно будет, то есть я бы, конечно, хотел бы боксировать. И То есть мы вот сейчас начнем и посмотрим, либо будет два-три. Uh, it would be better to say, let's start with this two. I want to box, and we'll see. There will be maybe two, two or three. It's always uh, good to see you uh, active. And uh, more Gennady, I think the fight fans are uh, more happy to see. And if you do move up and wait, it's more food for you. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, but don't turn the good boy to big boy, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Call to my wife, tell you. <laughs> here in Los Angeles with Gennady Golovkin, this is Marcos Viegas. Thank you all for watching us over here at Fight Up TV.